Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about science? Sure. If my mass on Earth is 30 kilograms, what do you think my mass on the moon would be? What do you think my mass on the moon is? If my mass is 30 kilograms on the Earth, what's my mass on the moon? Uh, I don't know. It's a zero. 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 On the moon? Not a lot. Lighter. The sea is 9.8 on Earth. So on the moon, yeah, 30. I'd say about 12. Three? <laughs> 54. <laughs> okay, and if my weight on Earth was 130 pounds, what do you think my weight would be on the moon? 130. Say about roughly 40 pounds. If my weight is 130 pounds here on Earth, what do you think I weigh on the moon? Around 90 pounds. 90 pounds? Around 30 pounds. Somewhere around 8 to 10 pounds. Um, A lighter variation of 135, I don't know. It's the it's same the thing, same, 130. So 135 pounds or 130 pounds? I'm going to say 15. If my mass is 30 kilograms on the Earth, what is my mass on the moon? 30 kilograms. Okay. Now, if I weigh 135 pounds here, what would I weigh on the moon? Some amount less. I don't remember the exact amount. Mass and weight are related concepts that are often misunderstood. Weight is the effect of gravity on the mass of an object. Because gravity is different on every planet, your weight varies from planet to planet. Let's first focus on mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Whether a spaceship is at the space station or on the moon, it contains the same amount of matter, so its mass is the same. Without having to measure, you can compare the relative masses of two objects. This cotton ball has a smaller mass than this rock, as shown by the balance. Similarly, this balloon has less mass than this coin. If you know the mass of an object, you can easily determine its weight. Because weight is gravity's effect on mass, we multiply gravity by mass to calculate weight. As we add coins to this jar, its total mass increases. Since gravity remains constant, its weight increases. If we remove coins from the jar, we're decreasing its total mass, which decreases its weight. An object with a greater mass will weigh more than an object with less mass. By adding or removing mass, we can change an object's weight. But weight also changes with gravity. Remember, gravity is what causes two objects to be drawn to one another. The pull of gravity causes a book to fall to the ground and keeps us firmly anchored on Earth's surface. On Earth, the pull of gravity is pretty much constant. If we took this rock from Houston to Cairo, its mass would remain 5 kilograms. Since gravity would also be the same, its weight would stay 11 pounds. The only way to modify its weight is to change gravity, and for that, we'd have to take a trip out of this world. The pull of gravity on the moon is weaker than the pull of gravity on Earth. So if we took this same 5 kilogram rock to the moon, it would only weigh 2 pounds. Likewise, an astronaut in full gear might weigh 360 pounds on Earth. On the moon, however, the same astronaut would weigh only 60 pounds. The astronaut's mass is the same 164 kilograms on Earth and on the moon. The difference in gravity between the Earth and the moon is what causes the different weights. Mass is measured in kilograms, a metric unit. We use the metric system because it is the system of measurement most commonly used among scientists. One kilogram represents the mass of one standard liter of water. A triple beam balance measures an object's mass in grams. You can divide grams by 1,000 to convert to kilograms. If you multiply mass by Earth's gravity, you will calculate the weight of an object on Earth. The kilogram is the metric unit used to measure mass. The Newton, named after Isaac Newton, is used as the metric unit for weight. One Newton represents the force of Earth's gravity on a mass of about 100 grams. In the United States, we typically measure weight in pounds and ounces, which are not metric units. Many other countries use kilograms informally to describe the weight of an object. You can use a bathroom scale to measure weight. For example, this watermelon weighs two pounds. To recap, 
Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Whether you are on Earth, the Moon, or somewhere in between, if an object has a mass of 50 grams, it remains 50 grams. Weight is mass times gravity, so weight increases when mass or gravity increases. The metric system is a widely used system of measurement. The metric unit for mass is the kilogram, and for weight is the newton. In the United States and a few other countries, we frequently use the pound as a unit of weight. So, so now, now you, you know. know.